Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to add a level select system to your game in Console 3. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, what I have here are these boxes. These are just normal sprites with the white color filled in them. And I also have the text plugin. And this is just a named number, and I have just filled in the number for each corresponding box. I have done nothing else. So the first thing you'll do is right click, insert new object, and search for mouse, and press enter. And now what you'll do is first select your text, in instance variable, and add a new variable. This will be named whatever, you can name it whatever, but I like to name this value. And just press enter, and enter. So this will represent the value of each text. So what level you'll go into so for five for example it will be five and so on so for one it will be one two and for it will be two it will be two and so on and so forth so what you'll do now is right click go to your event and then come to your mouse and select on object click you click to choose and choose your number so now that you have this you'll simply go to action and then just to show you that it works, I'll just go to my test um, test text plugin and then search for a set text. And then what I'll do is set the text to my number dot value. So now if I press F5, that plays it. So now if I, for example, press on 5, this turns into 5. If I press on 3, it turns to 3. So now that we know it works, I'll make some layouts to show you how to implement this. So what I've gone ahead and done is set our level select layout to level underscore select and followed a pattern for the levels. Remember that this must be a, there must be a pattern. So for example, for my case, there's level underscore one and then the rest stays the same except the numbers. So now what we'll do is go to add action system and search for go to loud and then you'll select go to loud by name so how this will work is first you will copy your pattern so mine is level and then underscore and then we have our number so that will be our value so you'll add an and symbol and then your number dot value so this is how the pattern works. If there's um, if there's any other pattern, you can you you can um, implement that in. But this is the main logic. What I've also done is added a back button system, so I can go back to my level select system. So now if I press play, as you can see, if I press three, we come to the layout where the text is three. And if I right click back, we can come back here. And if I press five, we are in five. If I press four. We aren't for. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Bye.